Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more War Sim episode 15 with our series here. We are getting to a point where we're probably going to need to fight the demons off, but I want to get some of the more independent nation lands finished off first uh, and see uh, if that opens anything up for us. Old ruined outpost with wildwood savages. So let's attack them, actually. Camp is burned down, all right. You find a lost knight, he joins us. So we've got the high tree outlook. You approach a locally known viewpoint and can see the whole of Wildwood, the oldest tree. You visit the most sacred part of Wildwood, the oldest tree, a living ent. He speaks, I know much. Ask him questions about himself, ask him questions about Wildwood. Ask about the old ruined outpost, the high tree outlook. Old ruined outpost. Did you say ruined? I remember them building that place. I told them it wouldn't last. I wondered how many centuries it's been since. My oh my, how time does fly. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh, we got 23,000 gold. Let's, let's get the Reaving Elves here taken care of. Right, they only have one other land left, if I remember that correctly. Loyal arrows are confronted by knights of the Order of Smackdown. They kill 80 of your knights, losing 232 men in the process. Wow. Are you serious? They killed 80 of my knights? Did they destroy my order? Order of Knights, they only have one. Okay, we can convert, I guess, some of these guys. But wow, I think they gained Knights then though, because they had a lot. Okay, so we need to kill those guys off. For sure. No doubt in my mind about that. The Guardian Tree. Visit the place known as the Guardian Tree. It is a small settlement nestled among a large tree known to the harbor. A group known as the Guardians, one of the tree clans of Wildwood. Attack them, read the Guardian rules, speak to their leader. You are greeted by a leader of the camp. We know of you, so we will allow you to our camp, but we are wary of strangers. Camp's purpose. The purpose is the same as yours, to live. We do not use coin here. We share our food. We seek that all our brothers be stronger, uh, strongest so we can fight well together. Fire is forbidden. Slay those who use it. Leaving the wild wood is forbidden. Deserters will be hung. Free all slaves. Take no prisoners. Never surrender. Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's finish off the... Uh, I'm going to save the gold for kingdom upgrades, but we're going to finish off the bandits and be done with them. I can't believe they just killed all those knights. Uh, things that we need. Grand Barracks, probably. Maybe Elite Weapon Stash for the Mercenary. Why don't we actually grab that quick and we'll be done with it. Explorer's Guild, potentially. Alright, the Loyal Arrows, yeah. All right, what do we got now? Advanced nobility quarters draws in 43 knights. Uh, magical explosion led to the death of 13 of our soldiers. So are they dead or are they still alive? No, they're dead. So we just have the demon horde now and they're growing stronger by the day. The Barony of the Reven Elves have one land. They do have 114,000 gold. So we're going to try to take some more of that from them. Well, what am I going to do with it? Recruit more soldiers? I mean, it's not a bad idea. But the problem with it is that the more soldiers I have, the more I'm paying out. Let's see. The Magic Theater. Buy the Magic Theater. Let's buy the Magic Theater. 
So now we can watch the decaying demon. Very cool. That would have cost a lot of money. All right, so that should get us some money though each turn. We've got the wishing well. Well, we killed the gibbering monk, abandoned village, ruins of the magical fruit farm, abandoned militia watchtower, the gift tree. We haven't been here in a while. Wagon man's post, which I think we're trading with. All right. Holy, Holy Order of the Roses, Darkdale Guard, not yet coded. So we don't know what that does. Savage Village, Wildwood Savages. Okay, that's a lot, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, how much of this can I take if I raid them? One hundred and fourteen thousand gold, and we got another tribe. So we got one hundred fourteen thousand gold. Your prison is overflowing with bandits. Your guards have no room for any new prisoners, and while figuring out what to do, the new prisoners escape, and under leadership of Doc Elderon, they form Rune Tribe. Yikes! I there used to be a way you could recruit prisoners, and I forgot how to do that. Yeah, we're, yeah. There's too many prisoners. How did I do that? I don't remember. How, so these guys, troops eight, attempt to hire them. newly gained riches 200 gold so at least i was able to destroy them by buying those off uh, i guess we can upgrade our prison extend the prison 10k extend it again 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 there because we got the hundred thousand gold so we might as well i guess we can recruit more peasants now 2,000 of them. Okay, so now we should be able to turn those into more soldiers to fight the demons. We currently have 416 knights, which is awesome. So they're going to be able to convert most of those. We got 11,000 soldiers, a bunch of goblin berserkers, and goblins, and two bandits. Crime policies. Close the prison, declare mass execution, keep prison population low, declare re rehabilitation, 1k gold per turn. Oh, well, what's that do? You declared the rehabilitation program. Now your less serious criminals will be trained in farming techniques and helped return to normal life. Plus two public opinion. Okay. It only costs a thousand gold. And we got the public opinion for it. Social policies. Elms for the poor, 3,900 gold. Hire the love call to increase public order. Hmm. Costs a lot, though. Taxes, though. Up to 50 gold per land owned. I'm going to go ahead and impose the land tax now. Minus five public opinion, but we'll get a lot of gold now. Let's see how much we get, and then maybe we can offset it with the love cult. Cool, 3,000 gold for knights. All right, let's finish these guys off then. All right. Five opinion and the battle, or and a bunch of soldiers. Who's attacking us now? So the Fable Tried of the Stroud, they're the next one that we need to go after. So we won that there. Your statue looks particularly more imposing recently. Uh, the grand champion was assassinated. Ooh. Your rehabilitation law converts 1,008 prisoners to working peasants. Wow, that's actually way worth it. So I didn't even need to upgrade the prison. That was a waste of money. Your knights trained 1,706 peasants into soldiers. That's crazy. 
All right, I want to see where else some of the gold's coming from. You receive 4,600 gold in rents from your 40 land. So that seems worth it. The 5,000 gold. So that, that don't seem too bad for the negative five public opinion. The Thick Blood Tavern attacks. Wow, that actually gives me 10,000 gold, the, the tavern. The Magic Theater only earns me 331, though. So we should probably keep attacking some more of that stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff we own. The Combat Academy, we don't. We'd have to attack it. So let's try attacking and see what happens. Combat Academy is yours. There is no soldiers to hire or destroy the Combat Academy. Your Grand Champion cannot be trained th further. Okay, but we own it. We got an old ruined fort. Rebuild the fort. So they're going to rebuild that. Mystic Hut. The Black Bank. They were the ones that would give us a load for a million. We got the mercenary outpost here, which we know we cannot attack. Animal fight pit we own, the wild home. Okay, let's attack this. What else? Snow folk village. Ruins of Ice Watch Keep, Old Stone, the bear folk. So they won't they won't leave the fort and join us. All right. All right. So we've got the goblin wood goblins. You come across goblin wood. This fortified town seems to be filled with goblins. One of the gate watch goblin guards spots you and sounds the alarm. Halt, human! Wait for Captain Big X to come. The goblin shouts. You wait a moment behind the goblin. An armored go goblin pushes his way to the front of the wall. He speaks with authority. Ye human, you speak to Big X, captain and defender of goblin wood. We know about you, Sabouts. We know you keep goblins as slaves. I am sorry. We'll end goblin slavery. Ends goblin slavery. I am Sabouts. I can do what I want. <laughs> We've got, we, I like our goblins though. I can do what I want. You banish from goblin wood now, human. The goblin shouts before leaving. Can we not attack it? We can. Wow, 3350 defenders. Never mind. Old ruined village. 30 savages. All right. Public opinions 19, 4,600 gold. I don't think there's any other kingdom upgrades that I needed besides the royal tax office. So I guess we'll wait for that. Um, people we can attack. The demons, obviously. And we only have the master of the blighted ski rocks and the tribe of shroud, which I think both of them have been attacking us. Uh, they have 397,000 gold, but they have a lot of troops. They have a lot of troops as well, and a lot of gold. I wonder if we can get the Master Dome of the Blade Ski Rocks to ally us. No. But the Fabled Tribe of Shroud, we can. Alliance? You need to gain his trust before he allies with you. He won't ally himself with any old kingdom. So a trade agreement? No? Send gifts? So you can just keep sending gold until eventually they'll ally you maybe? He agreed to alliance. Warned you that betrayal means death. Okay. Trade agreement. Form a trade route with you. Okay. Awesome. Request financial aid, send military aid, request military aid, gift land. All right, perfect. 
So we're allies with them, which isn't a bad idea. So the trade will probably keep increasing that. But the Blade of Ski Rocks, we have to take out. We can't ally them. So we'll have to go to war with them. Oh, we could raid them. They've got a lot of gold. Or we could just start invading them and taking their land right out the bat, which I think we'll do. Then we can probably take them. A group of 38 ex-slaves and 13 slave soldiers pledge themselves to you, claiming you are the champion of the unfree. Hmm. You pay a thousand gold to your rehabilitation law. Rehabilitation law converts a thousand eight prisoners to working peasants this season. Really? Again? No, that can't be right. Maybe? So am I just going to start running away here with slaves? <clears throat> I do have a lot of peasants right now. And a lot of knights. This is great. Okay, things that I want to buy. I want to get the grand barracks. So how much do I got in the bank? Pretty good amount. We're going to withdraw 10,000 so we can buy that. All right, so with the Grand Barracks now, we should be able to do some stuff here. We could train soldiers into knights. That's a lot cheaper. Train tribals into soldiers, train tribals into berserkers, train bandits into peasants. Oh. Okay. Train soldiers into knights. That's kind of cool. Expensive. Not really worth it, though. The Tribals and the Berserkers, I guess, is the only thing that's worth it. I mean, 280 is cheaper than buying knights for 500, but I get a lot of knights a turn now. So maybe that wasn't really worth spending the 100,000 on. Oh, uh, the blighted ski rocks. They're not our troops, right? No, they're the ones we're attacking right now. So we're kind of going back and forth. Your recruiters recruit 17. Law converts 1,008 prisoners. That can't be right. 1,008 is what I had before. How many do I have in the prison right now? Maximum capacity, 10,000. You were informed there are currently 1,008 total prisoners here. I think that that's broken. I think that there's something wrong with that. I don't think that it's actually converting them. I'm going to end it. Ah, dang. Okay. That sucks though, but yeah, I don't think that that's doing anything for us. We're gonna hire the love cult. See uh, what that does for us. All right, I kinda wanna keep exploring, trying to find places we can get gold. The cave entrance is nested in the side of a very large rock formation. You can see that the inside of the cave has been blocked with large boulders, making it inaccessible. Nineteen hundred. Oh boy, we really got to take these guys out. I mean, they might leave us alone too. Look at the wealth. These guys have stupid amounts of wealth. I think I'm going to try to raid them and see what I get this turn. With so many knights at your disposal, as Lona has accepted is accepted as the true kingdom of the lands. 500 soldiers have conscripted and the knights and the kingdom's strength has grown. Wow, two opinion and 500 soldiers. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to raid them and see how much I get. Thirty-four thousand. I'd like to get all of it, but I think I got to get them down to one land for that. But I could spend this now if I want to. The only thing I'd want to spend it on is maybe like the royal tax office. So we'll do that and see what that gets us in income.
Okay, Huntsman's Rest. You come across a strange settlement nested in the outskirts of Wildwood. The settlement is filled to the brim with unique huts built from logs, and the place appears to be booming with local folk who call themselves the Hunters. There's two that you recruit. Okay. I ask about the hunters. We have been native to these lands for many generations. The tales tell us we are in fact the leftovers of an old class empire, but what do I know I wasn't there? Okay. Crest to trade carab caravan. We aren't traders. We tend not to make much surplus. Tell us we are in fact the leftovers of an old class empire, but what do I ah, Okay, so there's nothing we're gonna get out of this. But we'll leave it as is. I don't think there's anything we can get out of it attacking it anyways. We have plenty of troops now, so we're just going to keep going for these. Oh, with the rebellion over, another load of ex-rebels flock. 200 soldiers, 5 knights, 100 peasants. It just keeps, like, snowballing. It's great. Okay, we're going to invade and keep trying to take these guys down. And they keep attacking us as well. All right, but lots of gold. Am I out of things that make sense other than the harvest and stuff? I don't think the harvest makes sense because I think we're, yeah, we don't really have peasants kicking around. And we can get more. If we want to. Recruitment and training. Free enlistment active. Declare forceful enlistment. Gain lots of peasants each turn. Declare no enlistment. No recruits each turn. Ban local militia. Cease peasant training. No, I want to keep getting soldiers, I think. I don't think I want to seize peasant training. We have to fight the demons still. So I'll just keep it as is. Goblin policies. Goblin scourge. Pay 10 gold bounty per goblin head. Ban goblin slavery. Begin the goblin celebration. 1k per turn. Mercenary policies. Social... We've already done that. The love call. Public opinion 28, so that's working. Offer a 20 gold reward for bandits. Longer harvest hours. Peasants work harder. Issues may arrive. Forgive outlaws. Allows outlaws back into society. Force everyone to wear hats. Forgive outlaws. You declare that in these troublesome times, people must unite and forgive bandits and outlaws within your lands. Eugh. Okay. Okay, that's what we want. Sometimes you got to test some of these. You don't know what they do until you test them. The Goblin's Stone. Name for the goblins who occasionally pilgrimage to the rock to pray to it. Sure, why not? Okay, where did we go off next? Utucked Village, Statue of the Swamp God, not yet coded. So I think we've got, I think we've seen everything that can be seen. At this point, it's just taking like these guys out and then taking the demons out. I don't know. I really don't know what it's going to take to take the demons. I think I'm going to try and launch an attack just to see. Um, what I mainly want to see is, is if we, I guess basically if we attack them and we get a, a report before we do the battle, I want to know uh, what their battle score is. Eighteen thousand men by two thousand peasants. Is there anything else I can capture that makes sense to capture? Nothing here. It'd be like maybe the northern lands. Not the southern, the eastern lands. Scorpion fighting pit. We could buy that. Rim village. Okay. 
nothing there and nothing else really here. I think I've got almost everything I can get. Or trading. The Holy Order of Roses, I don't. Higher Knights, attack the Citadel. Ask about the history. Are they any better? We can take them for sure. With all the defenders of the Holy Order dead, the Fort Citadel is yours. Okay, you approach the White Citadel, formerly of the Holy Order of the Roses. Through conquest, the Citadel is not yours. It steadily supplies you with new knights every turn. Ah, that's what I wanted. That's pretty cool. So we'll see what we get. The Camp of Love. We're using them right now, so we don't want to do anything with them. To get our public order up. Yeah, then there was goblins and stuff, which... A lot of defenders, so we just won't worry about that. All right, so we'll see how many knights we actually get from that. Let's hire some more peasants. What the heck happened to the enemy we were attacking? Because they're not here anymore. Were they destroyed? Your advanced nobility quarters draws one knight. The Order of the Roses draws one knight. So that's bad luck. Um, what happened to them? Defeated by who? They had a bunch of gold. They have been dead for 219 years. That's a bug. There's no way that that makes any sense at all. I'm very confused. No major events, but there probably wouldn't be. No battle reports. Oh, well, I guess uh, nothing I can do about that. All right, I'm going to end the turn one more time, and then I guess we're going to have to see what we can do about the demons. With so many knights at your disposal, alone accepted the true kingdom of the land. So 500 soldiers and two opinion. All right, so I want to see here. So... Uh, Okay, so we paid gold to the love cult. Soldiers abandoning and fleeing from the demons. Nobility quarters got us 39 knights. I don't see where the we're getting knights from the other place. But boy, are we making a lot of gold now. Well, we could throw stuff up, but I don't think there's anything else here we need. Explorer's Guild, but we've already explored everything. Slaver's Guild, 35k, gain a stream of slave each turn. There is some stuff you can explore, like different areas. But they require maps of those areas. And I'm not too concerned about mercenaries, I don't think. All we have left is the giant statue, the library, or the little throne room. Can arrange meetings, giant statue. There. And we recruit and sell troops. And we can hire more peasants. And we can use the gold as well to buy more artifacts if we want to. I guess we better see what it would take to attack the demon gate. But let me uh, hire a bunch more soldiers. And let's end our turn and then we'll see... All right, so what do we got for troops? 26,000 soldiers, 602 knights. All right, attacking the... Attacking them is probably not going to do us any good. But we're going to try and see what their power is. 
but I want to make sure all my tribal berserkers are, or all my goblins are berserkers. We can train soldiers into knights. We've got gold to spend. It might help us. Knights are pretty good against demons, if I remember correctly. What if we did like a hundred? Okay. All right, let's go take a look. We're going to the demon gate. Attack the encampment. Accept the troops, send all of our troops. Demon's enemy battle score, it won't show you. Well, let's just go for it and see what happens. They're our last threat in the game anyways. Well, we lost everybody and they only lost 396. So that's that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, we would be able to uh, build up our forces more than likely and keep doing that. But boy, would it just be a lot. It'd just be a lot of like throwing through things. So I think this is a great place to cut it. But yeah, I had a ton of fun playing and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, that goes to show you how tough the Demon Horde is. They are no joke. They're actually extremely tough. I know that there's some other ways to defeat them and everything. You can um, probably some of the artifact items might help and stuff like that. But yeah, they're no joke. They're, uh, they're definitely tough. And they take a lot of men to kill. 27,000 killed about three, almost 400 of them. So we would need... We would need probably like another 100,000 men. Yeah, it would take forever. I mean, we'd probably get them too, somewhat quickly. It'd probably take a couple episodes to get them um, just because of the amount of gold we're getting. But then they're going to cost more gold too. So it's it's a hit or miss. But I think we've seen everything there is to see. So I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It definitely was a blast. I'm gl uh, glad that we pulled it off. Ending the actual game here, year 221. Uh, we did insane difficulty. We got 60,000 gold, 45 lands, and a public opinion of 54. Not bad. The uh, the one nation that disappeared, I don't know where they went. That's very, very odd to me, but maybe the demons just wiped them out so hard that they uh, erased their history. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. But yeah, definitely a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of the War Sim here. Definitely a game that I'd like to come back and visit in the future once it's had even more updates to it. The developer is very active in the community and he does a great job at updating the game and engaging with his his uh, players and everything. So props to him. I really appreciate it. Um, so thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.